Wainaki Waterworks Bush is a place not many people even know exists, but it's where Gisborne's drinking water supply comes from. The Gisborne Herald's Matai O'Connor organised for a tour of the Wainaki Waterworks Bush and treatment plant. This is the story of that place. More than 400 metres above sea level sits Gisborne's water treatment plant. It's hidden away down a long driveway with trees surrounding it. Gisborne City Water is supplied from two main catchments, the Manga Poki Dams, which includes the Williams, Clapcock and Sang, and the Te Arai Bush Catchment. The raw water from these sources is treated at the Wainaki Water Treatment Plant before it travels through a 30 km long pipeline into the city reticulation network and then to taps. There's four people in the plant that make sure everything runs as it should. Gisborne also has a secondary treatment plant located at the Waipara River. This augmentation plant was built in answer to the widespread devastation caused by Cyclone Bola in 1988. That plant draws water from the Waipara River and is essentially only used as a backup supply during peak water demand in the height of summer and in emergency situations. Most of Gisborne's water comes from the Wainaki Water Treatment Plant. Tairawhiti Iwi Naita Manuhiri have mana whenua over the area. Bella Hawkins, a trustee of Ta Manuhiri Tutu Poroporo Trust, the post-settlement governance entity for Naita Manuhiri and chair of Marae Taha Inc., accompanied the Herald's team through the Wainaki Waterworks Bush. In 1840, a man by the name of Tafio Pohatu, um, he signed the treaty on our behalf as Ta Manuhiri. Um, the entirety of time, t- my Tamanuhiri Whenua uh, is about 250,000 uh, acres, uh, half of that in hectares. Um, back then we were known as uh, Ngai Tahu Pō and Ngāti Rangi Waho. Uh, and then we merged together um, and became Ngai Tamanuhiri. So we have a strong affinity to uh, Tahu Pōtiki. That's who we are known as and our connection with Ngai Tahu. Uh, how that that connects with water is really important because New Zealand Aotearoa is surrounded by water. Uh, what does that mean for us? It's a life source. It's an energy source. Um, it's key because without water, we can't survive. GDC, Ngai Manuhiri and Marae Taha Inc. are working in partnership to restore the Nahere back to native vegetation after the Wainaki Waterworks Bush and Pamor Forest were turned into pine forestry blocks after Cyclone Bola. Reverting the land back to native vegetation can help reduce issues of erosion as well as help with the water quality. Gisborne District Council's team leader for drinking water, Judith Robertson, said the team at the Waterworks plant makes sure everyone who is connected to the GDC water supply have safe, clean drinking water. So part of making sure that we have enough water right through summer, whatever summer brings us, rain or long dry spells, is being careful with water. So we try to manage the demand every day, making sure that we're making enough water because we really do have to make the water into a treated state. So through our treatment plants and then delivering it down 